there is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, <sighs> such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. Of a better Jesse. <laughs> and now Jesse is trapped underground forever. One more ungrateful loser buried away. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Thing to fortify these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was. Well, she was a little much. But having an ex admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She still scared me, though. She already helped us a lot. The portal buying us time to get up here. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that Heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Yes, things look impossible, and they might be. But I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go.
guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Guys, admin! And he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! <laughs> Champion City, and now, one less thing to worry about. My... my friends and... my people? They're... gone. Psst, Olivia. Axel. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Jesse, I... what is... Come on, I'll explain everything, but we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath a bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside, Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... Look, the admin is good, but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled, right? It's a pretty good Jesse impression. I mean, a totally evil version, but... yeah. But... you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but... nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city... gone. In an instant. It's insane. Nobody should have that much power. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. S 
so glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. It's safer than being out in the open. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. You okay there, Jack? Uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I don't know if it was the admin, looters, what I... Uh... I promise, Jack, we're gonna get everything back once we defeat the admin. Yeah, you're right. Probably just fixating on this to distract myself. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Hey, Binta. Justin okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Looters were thorough. There's nothing here. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh, we heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been... missing. Kinda went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About... a terminal, maybe? No, the guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We'll be here. Keeping an eye out. <laughs> Doing okay, Luna? <clears throat> yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it, though. Poor Llama. <clears throat> Jack! By the tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these... Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah. Got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What? 
was that? Sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah! Ah! Ivor, what on earth were you just doing? Hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor! Founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Oh, this is so totally embarrassing. Hey, you're pretty legendary yourself, Jack. Just play it cool around him. Right, right, cool. Cool. I, I, I can do cool. Ivor, right? Sup? Yes, I am Ivor. And you are? They call me... The... <coughs> the Stab Walker. Yeah, that's a nickname. Yes! Hi! Hello, strange stab person. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about you rotting away in prison forever? Big success! And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult, and took many, many days of intense mental activity. And a very large hole in the side of the Sunshine Institute. <laughs> Which I'm sure no one will notice. Hey. Hey. Well, you're a hero, Nerm. Jack should watch out. You might start stealing his glory. Nerm, the Sunshine Rock. Ooh. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our... word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes. I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. I'm glad it's easy to find, but it's floating up in the air. Indeed! Which, ooh, poses a problem, perhaps? Just, uh, you sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 